Hello and welcome to another Transformers figure vid video. And yeah, so of course, with Transformers Prime toys, there was APC toys who basically made, I guess, third party versions of the Hasbro figures. And in recent times, there's been a new company which has been rising in popularity, and that is Byway. Now, Byway. They did make a couple of figures, and I'm, that's what I'm going to do uh, here today, is basically just kind of recap all the figures that Byway has made so far, at least from the SS line, and some which have been announced. Starting off here, obviously I've already kind of done a video on this guy specifically, but here is the Byway Shockwave when he was in early development, and there he is... Um, like fully painted and everything. There's no rubber on this guy. Everything is tight from what I have seen. And yeah, I mean, obviously I would get this if I didn't have the original, but if you do not have the original Shockwave, then I highly recommend this version. There was also this thing, which is like a Rise of the Beast slash Bumblebee Optimus Prime. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't know what figure this is based off of, or if it's based off anything, but this is pretty cool, to be completely honest with you. There was the Star Leader, which there were a bunch of different versions of this guy. There was this version, there was a Dark of the Moon version, there were like Nemesis versions, there was a white version, there was a clear version, but basically from what I've heard, they are all shit in terms of quality. They are all horrendous, which is why I did not get any. Obviously, there's the figures I have, the Byway Sentinel Prime. Obviously, this is one of their best releases. He is fantastic and is way better than just paying like 10 times this price for the original SS version. This figure is amazing. I also did just get the Ironhide for my birthday. And besides the fact that I broke one of the clasps that holds the weapon on, and broke one of the handles on his sword. The rest of him is very good quality. He is definitely very complex, um, you know, for a Voyager. And he is very good quality, which obviously is the main thing you're looking for with a knockoff. This version is absolutely fantastic. And obviously, Ironhide is the most, is the, I guess you could say, the highest. My English is not Englishing. The most desired studio series figure. There we go. We got it out eventually. So this is a more than worthy substitute. Then, of course, yet to be released is the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Megatron, who is looking pretty cool. I really hope that they make him silver. I hope that he actually looks like this image, because if he doesn't, then I'm going to be quite disappointed. There is this all grey image of just the top part of him, and he's looking pretty good. I just hope that he actually looks like this. They had also made an 07 movie Megatron, which obviously the chest is slightly more accurate to the original movie. And uh, yeah, honestly, as someone who owns the original, I haven't really seen anyone complain about this figure. So yeah, he seems pretty good. They also did make a Grimlock, which, I mean, this is the Black Mamba version, but it's basically the same thing, just with a couple more accessories. Of course, their new kind of trending product is their Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime. Again, they just didn't fix the legs, which is my main issue with the figure. If you, if you fix the legs, then you've got basically a perfect Rise of the Beast Prime. But for some reason, they just didn't do it. However, moving on to what I think was the most exciting out of all of them. And that is the Rise of the Beast's leader class Scourge. Now, Scourge, I think, has been a very controversial figure uh, in the SS line, of course, because he was based off of concept art. I don't know why they did this. I don't know why they didn't just wait for the movie to come out. But here's the Byway version. And so far, he already looks better than the Hasbro one. Because his head is way bigger. The version by Hasbro has a very long neck. 
and a very tiny head. I don't know why they did that, because even in the concept art, his head is not that tiny. But anyway, here he looks pretty cool. There really is only one thing that I can hope for with the Scourge, and that is that the backpack needs to be made of proper plastic. If they make the entire thing clear plastic, like the Hasbro version, I will be very, very upset. Because as much as the inaccuracy is an issue with uh, the Studio Series Scourge, my main issue with it is the amount of clear plastic. I don't know why Hasbro did that. I thought that they had learned their lesson with SS100, the Bumblebee. Make the doors out of normal plastic and then just like put add on the clear plastic. Don't make the entire thing clear plastic. That is why there's been so many breakages on Scourge. So if by way, if they have any brains, please, please do not tell me that the backpack is made of clear plastic. Just let it be the windows that are attached on. But just looking at this image here specifically, first, there's two things that I can see here, right? First of all, it looks like his mask is going to be detachable, which is amazing. Secondly, we will not be having any more of the head popping off because this has been a common issue along with the smokestacks and like cracks in, on the hinges and things. Scourge's head constantly popping off the ball joint is something that I have heard a thousand times. And that is because the ball joint is very, very exposed. So if you just so much as touch the head, it will just fall off. With this version, you can see the neck completely covers everything. And that head does not look like it's coming off. So to be completely honest, I am most excited about the Scourge and... I really hope that they don't make the cab out of clear plastic. That is my only hope for the figure. They have also, I don't know if this uh, arm, the claw arm has a rotation. I really hope it does. But what they have done is make it accurate. Because if you remember in the movie, Scourge's gun forms from like just under his claw. So... That is precisely what they have done here. They have made the cannon attachable onto that little tab in the middle of the hand and the claws wrap around it, which is just flawless. So yeah, the Scourge to me could be the best version of, uh, of the Rise of the Beast version of Scourge. And yeah, that was all of the Byway figures. Please let me know if I've missed any. I really hope I didn't. By the way, really are just making our lives so much easier by giving us f figures, you know, making them available because there are some of these figures like Shockwave, like Ironhide, like Scourge, not Scourge, <laughs> what the hell, what's his name, Sentinel Prime, who are just so difficult to track down and by the way makes it easy for us to get them. If you did enjoy this video and if you are excited for any of those upcoming releases, whether it be Revenge of the Fallen, Megatron, or Scourge, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.